Hey guys, I have a new manicure design inspired by the birch tree for you today and on my nail right now I already have on the base coat and I'm painting on this beautiful gray color polish from Wet n Wild it's called um, Wet Cement So after you finish painting two coats onto your nail, just allow some time for it to dry before we put on the design. And this is the design that we're looking for. I tried it on one finger before I actually show you all the details. I like the way it look. And I'm using two colors striper here, a black one and a white one. And my stripers are from Color Club. So to get started, I just use a white striper and started drawing the tree trunks. So it doesn't have to be straight or perfect. Nature is not perfect, right? So just uh, draw on the tree itself and some branches on the side. And I wanted to complete this one finger before um, showing you. But if you do it on your nail, you can finish with the white on all the fingers and then switch over to the black. So with the black polish, again, I'm not very careful. I just outline one side of the design. Um, imagine if the sun was to shine uh, onto the tree on one side, you will see the shadow on the other side. So just make sure that you will keep this black outline on um, the same side of all your fingers and then next I use a almost dry brush and I just beat it against the side of the the stripe that we draw with the white to create some of the pattern on the birch tree and it works out pretty well and it's pretty quick too because of the fact that the brush is pretty dry it's create this uh, pretty realistic looking uh, pattern and so I like it a lot and you see that I also use the black to add in some um, branches that's in the shadow side of the trees so of course I move on and do the rest of the fingers so I'll just let you watch When you finish with your design, the last step is always to put on a top coat to protect it. Um, if you want to go a little bit further, you can just protect the whole design with a regular top coat and then use a matte top coat to put on over just where the trees are so it give it a little more realistic looking. But I like how glossy and, and nice this top coat is because it makes me feel like I'm looking out to a forest through my window. So it takes a little bit of imagination there, but I hope you enjoy this design and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye